This is me, Keisha, and I'm here with my Empire Season 2, Episode 11 review. So, let's get straight into my review, because I have another video that will be up tonight. That's my underground review. So, we start off this episode right where we left off with Rhonda being pushed down the steps by Nika like a slinky. I mean... Amika pushed the shit out that bitch. She pushed that bitch like she stole like a pack of her bundles or some shit. So uh, Lucius don't want to leave his office because you know he think he should ignite and shit. Can't nobody tell him what the fuck to do. It's bumped the nigga. So Andre want to charter a plane to go to the law firm to prove that what Camilla and Mimi did was against the law. But after they all get a good night's sleep, you know everybody got to go night night. Everybody got to you know. Get some rest. Get some good shut eye. Lucius ain't here for that shit. He demands to charter a plane now, goddammit, because he wants his goddamn company back. So, Cookie sitting in Hakeem apartment waiting on him with her magic room and shit, ready to be the bitch ass. I mean, she is ready for round two. She thinks she Ronda Rousey or some shit. So, she's mad that Hakeem out here giving away they company to lesbians and shit. Like, that is not how she raised him. <laughs> like, she's all for the LGBT community, but she ain't got time for these lesbians to be out here running her damn company. So, Hakeem, Hakeem refuses to take back his vote, so Cookie beats his ass with the fucking um, broom like he stole the last piece of chicken, goddammit. And, um, I'm just looking at Hakeem, like, how you gonna let a bitch in a gold maid dress beat your ass? I mean, like, really? God damn it, Hakeem, get some balls. Slap the shit out that bitch. So, Rhonda on the ground begging Blue Ivy to save her and the baby. But Blue Ivy said we're on a yacht with her mom and daddy. She ain't got time to be answering prayers right now. So, um, uh, Rhonda throws her iPhone at the door and breaks the glass on the, uh, door to ignite the alarm system. So, Lucia still won't leave his uh throne until Becky fat ass walk up in there with that terrible ass ombre wig on and tells him that Rhonda's in the hospital, something is wrong with the baby. So he jumps up and leaves. So Cookie at the hospital looking like Chris Jenner in her fur coat, looking like she just got out of the Yeezy season three fucking <laughs> viewing party. And she's there with Jamal and shit. And Hakeem decides to show up at the hospital and uh Cookie treats him like he robbed Kardashian. She needs this motherfucker to go because ain't nobody here for him. He has been cast away out the goddamn family. He gonna be in his room for the next two years like Rob as was getting fat. So Cookie tells uh them, tells um Andre what happened. And of course, Andre have an old light skin ass, Chris Brown ass fucking tantrum and passes out on the goddamn ground and shit, hooping and hollering, crying because, you know, the baby did or whatever. So, Rhonda blames herself for the accident, and since Blue Ivy didn't answer her prayers, she doesn't believe that Blue Ivy exists. But, Andra ain't here for her foolishness because the Formation Tour is coming to a city new year. New, new, I can't talk. Uh, the Formation Tour is coming to a city near you, and he knows that Blue Ivy is real, so he ain't trying to hear shit that Rhonda ass got to say. Because he has seen the blessings of Blue Ivy. He knows that it's real. So Cookie goes over to Lucia's crib. And he tucked all underneath the covers. I don't know who the fuck tucked him in that good. And so she get in the bed with him her hot ass fur on. And then she wake up the next morning stealing that hot ass fur. I know she stank like a motherfucker. And she find him in his closet um, loading up his guns and shit. Because he about to go blast some niggas I guess. And so... He don't understand, Lucia don't understand why Hakeem is so fucked up. And Cookie looking at him like, nigga, uh, he acts just like you. I mean, the apple didn't fall too far from a tree, my nigga. He's just like your ass. I got a blue tongue because I've been up here eating fucking sour gummy worms and shit. <laughs> it was delicious. So he threatens to kill Hakeem. And she like, look, bitch, I know you mad and all, but you need to have several. Calm the fuck down, my nigga. Let me handle this. I'm going to take down Camilla from the inside. And so Lucia tell her, you got 48 hours to do this shit, my nigga, or it's about to be on and motherfucking popping. So Camilla shows up, shows Hakeem their new Yeezy season clothing line. <laughs> that wasn't even Yeezy season. That was some old, good old uh, Ashley Stewart type shit because them clothes look terrible. I'm like, y'all couldn't find some better pieces than this. So she wants him to drop his little Mexican hot pocket girlfriend and she says if he does so, she'll make him the CEO of Empire. So, Cookie says, you know, Cookie shows up. Because, you know, this bitch just shows up like the goddamn wind. So, she says that Hakeem um, can't do shit because he's still signed to Lion Dynasty. So, he can't run Empire. But she says that if Camilla pays her $20 million, she'll let him go. Camilla refuses. So, Cookie asks uh, Hakeem 
is he really going to choose that bitch over his motherfucking family? And he was like, I mean, well, at least she don't beat me. At least she don't beat me with her purse. I've been fighting my whole goddamn life. I've been fighting my brothers, my daddy, my uncles. And <laughs> Cookie get mad and take a handful of fruit snacks, my nigga, on the way out and drop them motherfuckers on the ground as she leaves out. Because you know she got to always have a fucking grand exit. So Anika comes to visit Rhonda in the hospital and she plays like she don't know what the fuck happened. We all know her bitch ass pushed that girl down the steps. So Hakeem trying to drink his life away. And so J Jamal tells him, and he asks Jamal if uh, he thinks he should run Empire. And Jamal looking at him like, nigga, no. He was like, it's already fucked up what you did to daddy. Now you want to run the fucking company. And besides that, Running Empire is going to drag, run you into the ground. It's, it's tedious work. It's hard. You don't want that type of life, my nigga. It ain't worth it. But Hakeem, don't listen. Hakeem is unsure about drinking, breaking up with Cinco de Mayo because that's really what uh, his damn mind is on, breaking up with his little Mexican little girlfriend. And so, uh, you know, he says he really likes her or whatever. And so he got to do what he got to do. So he goes to her rehearsal and basically call her a lazy ass bitch <laughs> tell her take her ass back on to the project because he is done with her so he tell her little virgin ass to kick rocks because i'm tired of waiting on you to give up that old mexican ass pussy bitch ain't nobody got time working on you so look janae aiko little fake ass janae aiko she grab her little purse and she goes on so jamal meets up with his little gay advisor i don't know who that little man is but he worked for one of them damn record companies he do something in the industry and so the little man is mad that uh he found out that Jamal fucked uh, Alicia Keys ass. And so, you know, he says that the public cannot find out that he fucked her because it's gonna make it look like uh that gay people uh that being gay is a choice. And Jamal insists that he is strictly dickly, but it should not matter if he decides that he wants to have a taste every now and then. <laughs> so all the board members are being threatened with car explosions and dead cats and shit and being beat up on their morning run and shit. You know, white folks, you can't fuck with their morning runs, baby. They got to get that run in in the morning. They, they life ain't right. So Cookie and Jamal leave the hospital and Cookie is confused by Jamal's sexuality. He says he's sexually fluid and that, you know, he just had a little taste of some fish and some hot sauce and now he's over it. I mean, what's the big deal? He didn't fuck two bitches in his lifetime. Can he get a taste of some good old motherfucking catfish every now and then and everybody not be up in uproar against this bullshit? I just feel like I don't understand why they, you know, was such an advocate of, you know, him being a gay man season one and really pushing it and breaking down the walls of a black gay man on television to then make him bisexual. I just think that was so stupid. Like, I don't know what they doing with his character. Now he's all over the place. I mean, none of these characters are really greatly built, but I mean, they were just stupid to me. Um... Cook, and I'm just like, shit, if there was any motherfucker out here that a gay man that I would be here for to fuck, it would be Jesse Smollett. That little light-skinned, curl male motherfucker can get it. I have never been attracted to a gay man outside of him, but shit, I'm like Alicia Keys, my nigga. I would sit on that little penis at any time he asks me to. So Cookie reminds him that he can't be out here pissing off old rich white men. And so she slaps him and tells him to get his gay back so he can get his award. And I'm here with it. So, all the board members back off from running um, Empire. So, Hakeem decides to step up and he gives his old little Bow Wow ass speech. And I'm looking at him like, nigga, you ain't nothing but little Bow Wow with a couple of more singles, a couple more hit singles, and a savings account. I mean, good God, that nigga remind me so much of little Bow Wow now. He is just terrible. So, Jamal signs, uh, sings a song about how can't nobody tell him what to do. And love is all about freedom. And I'm just like, let me just sit on your penis. Let me just... Uh, let me uh, this is going to give me one little taste. Just one little taste, my nigga. Just one. So, Cookie at the hospital with Jamal and Andre dressed like an old-ass candy striper. That top she had on was horrible. They're like a Project Runway reject top. So, Andre says Rhonda's afraid she won't be able to have any more kids. Cookie reveals that she had a miscarriage and it was a little girl. And I was like, oh, that would have been cute if they would have had a daughter. Hopefully, they could happen in one of these seasons. So, Jamal proposes that... Um, Empire by Lion Dynasty so Cookie can be able to be on the inside of the company to take Camilla down. So Ron is back at home and she ain't trying to sleep upstairs no time no soon so, but she decides to climb her dumb ass up the steps so she can try to jog her memory about what the fuck happened to her when she got pushed down the steps. So Cookie, Jamal and Andre go visit Lil Bow Wow and Keisha Cole aka Hakeem and Camilla <laughs> at Empire Dynasties 
And Hakeem threatens to release Jamal's album early. And so Jamal is like, my nigga, I got a joint venture with Empire and Lion Dynasty. Since you want to act like a little bitch, like a little punk pussy ass niggas. Then if you decide to release my shit early, how about I decide to release my motherfucking album strictly under Lion Dynasty. So uh, Camilla says they'll sue. Jamal says, well, bitch, I'll leak the fucking album. I mean, tip for tap, bitch, what you want to do? What you want to do? So Hakeem stands up so we all can see his fucked up ass Easter suit. I don't know where the fuck they got that outfit from and who said that was the deal, but it was not. Um, Cookie and Hakeem agreed to let Lion Dynasty come over to Empire. Cookie wants to be the head of AR. You know, that's been her dream, honey, since she got out of jail. Camilla thinks it's a bad idea and warns Hakeem against it, but Hakeem wants them all to be a family again, so he basically vetoes her nomination and she storms out mad. You know, Keisha Cole, she always get mad when somebody don't want her. So Andre is in um him and Rhonda's cute ass baby room. I mean, that room was gorgeous. Fuck that baby can't be in that damn room. That room was fucking immaculate. So he breaks down and cries, and I was like, "Oh, look at his little light skin ass." Oh, so Cookie uh works with Lil Jan Janae Aiko on her vocals and shit, and Hakeem was watching her perform on Skype or some bullshit, and he missed her, so he go show up on her bodega bo <laughs> her bodega steps, <laughs> and he apologized for the way he talked to her and told her he only did, did it so he could get his company back. Her little dumb ass fall for it, you know she all moist and shit between the legs. She take him up to her little bedroom, they fuck on her little twin size bed, and she begging for the. D. He's like, no, I don't know if we should do this. I don't know, Lejeune Aiko. And she like, Jamal, give me, I mean, Hakeem, give me the dick, Poppy. Please give me the dick. I love you. And he like, I love you too. And they fuck. And I'm like, okay. So Lucius under train tracks and shit. Like he a teenage mutant ninja turtle. And he invite Hakeem to come talk to him. And he basically tells Hakeem this is the same place I kill Bunky. And Hakeem is shocked. Like, damn, my daddy out here killing motherfuckers for real, for real. So. He tells Hakeem that he's willing to stop at nothing to get his company back. And he gives Hakeem a gun and tells him, nigga, if you about that life, then you need to kill me because I'm willing to do anything and everything to get my company back. And if you don't kill me, I'm going to kill you. So Hakeem raised the gun up, but he ain't about that life. We all know Hakeem punk pussy ass nigga in real life. So he's like, you know, I ain't gonna do what you tell me to do and drop the gun. And uh, Lucius basically tells him, nigga, when I see you, it's like that for you. <laughs> so the episode goes off. I gave this episode a C minus a D. It was all right. I mean, the writing since season one. I mean, season one writing wasn't all that, but it was just so much better season one. Season two, we see the cracks in the writing in this show. It could be so much better, but hey, it ain't my damn show. Um, I give it a C minus D. Let me know your thoughts on tonight's episode down below in the comment section. Um, actually, let's do a poll. What do you think of this uh, tonight's episode? Do you give it A, B, C, D, F, whatever? Hopefully, I'll be able to do all the poll options. Let me know right up here. And I'll let you know the results on next week's uh, review episode. If you watch Underground, be sure to be looking out for my Underground review tonight as well. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and share. And I love you. Thank you. Bye.